The sights, sounds and smells of a city are all at the mercy of whatever rules its streets. Here in Copenhagen, it's bicycles. Bikes in Copenhagen, it's like... It's the heart of Copenhagen, I mean, it's... Everybody bikes. Everybody. Just, I don't know, a part of every day, the way I get around. They're so good at making the city bicycle friendly, it's given the world a new word, Copenhagenization. The concept of Copenhagenization has become a celebrated form of urban planning. It refers to what you see before you. A city that doesn't just make cycling possible, but redesigns its streets to make it the norm. Your bike is your fellow. It's your friend who gets you from A to B. It's the only natural way to get around. If everything is good, in moderation, what's happened here is that cycling's become so popular, the city now finds itself faced with new challenges, bike congestion. What we've seen now is that there are so many people who bicycle that we started to have serious congestion problems on the bicycle lanes. They are in a full program now on, on trying to do something about it. What you can have in rush hour is that you're, you're lowering the average speeds of uh, going by bike. And, and that's a problem. It's not about accidents, it's about uh, speed. Having spent years mastering the art of making streets bicycle friendly, the city is calling on established expertise take them forward into phase two. First of, uh, of all, it's a, it's, it's a problem that we are very proud of, that we have a bike jam, not car uh, jams, in, in Copenhagen. But of course, we have to, to solve this problem. Luckily, Copenhagen is already in the know when it comes to planning for two wheels, thanks to a process that started many years ago. 50 years ago, Every street in Copenhagen was full from wall to wall with traffic. All the squares were parking lots. At that point, it was decided to push back the traffic. So gradually it's become safer and more convenient. And when this has happened, more and more people have taken to the bicycles. And why is it called Copenhagenization? That is because Copenhagen was absolutely the very first one who started along this road. Today, more than half the adults in Copenhagen ride a bike to and from work every day. It is the transport mode of choice. For one simple reason, it's easy. It's a principle in Copenhagen that we always have the bike lanes right next to the sidewalk. In this way, the parked cars will protect the bicyclists, and that's a much better system. They've gone out of their way to make sure everything's easy for the cyclist. They have asked the people in Copenhagen, why are you bicycling? Is that because it's good for climate? Yeah, a little percentage. Is that because it's good for hills? Yeah, a good a little percentage. Is that because it's cheap? Yeah. But, but is that because it's convenient and fast? Yeah. have been riding bikes forever almost in Copenhagen. I mean, it's like, it would probably be the best city in the world to be on a bike. Cycling is already part of the life of this city. Looking to the future, the challenge is to make more room for the growing army of cyclists. For them, it is a tried and tested road they are happy to continue to drive down. 
In the last uh, five years, we have built uh, five great bridges for uh, biking infrastructure, and I think the next five years we'll have to build five more. They do exactly as we did with the traffic in the 70s. They are doubling the width of the bicycle lanes, taking another lane from the cars, giving it to the bicycles. That's why Copenhagen is in many ways the city of the 21st century. If you had any doubt about the way this is going, just look all around you. In just a few weeks, this cycle lane will be wider, giving more room for bikes at the expense of cars. In this future city's two wheels rules. The growing number of cyclists is a problem of which this city is proud. While other cities catch on to the benefits of bicycle schemes, Copenhagen moves on cheerfully to phase two.